Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Salmonus God Selections here for Tuesday, August 6th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball at the Marlins first five. Team total over, one and a half runs at minus 130 on DraftKings. Line close to 140, didn't matter though. Miami did get a decent amount of guys on base, but just could not generate any big hits for us. I believe they went 0 for 6 with other scoring position in the first five. So they had some chances, didn't convert any of them, and we pick up a loss. Look for a winner here on Tuesday. According to the play, though, I want to remind you once again, there are more picks on our website. So go to the website, you do. Use the promo code VKL5G6035. to get the 5% off. Code is also in the description. Plus a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the bell, so you get notified. It'll never miss an episode. Now, for the actual play, going to baseball once again, it'll get a matchup between the Giants and the Nationals, taking place at around 6.40 p.m. Eastern time. For this game, to go with the Giants' money line at minus 120 on Caesars, time recording of 1.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering's why we're going to go with the Giants' money line in this game. First reason, the Giants... I've been quite a streaky team all season long. Uh, when they're bad, they're really bad. When they're good, they're really good. And right now, they are trending in the right direction as they have won eight of their last 10 games. You know, the Nationals, we know, are a below average team, and they've not been good lately as they have lost six of their last eight games. Plus, the Giants have been underrated offensively on the road this season as they are averaging 4.31 runs per road game, which ranks high for 16th in the league. And you are looking at the Nationals, who have been really bad offensively at home all season long, as the Nationals are averaging just 4.09 runs per home game, which ranks 23rd in the league. With the pitching matchup, you have Birdsong pitching for the Giants, who's been very good since he got called up, and you are looking at his last five starts. 25 and two-thirds innings, a 2.45 ERA. He's been very consistent. He's been solid, and I think he should pitch well against this Nationals offense. It's kind of been struggling lately over the last week and change. You know, you're looking at Gore pitching for Washington, who's been really bad uh, over the last month. Last five starts, 20 and a third innings pitched, a 9.3 ERA. He was pretty decent when the season started, and he's gotten progressively worse as the season has gone on, and he's been really bad in the month of July onward. So I think he should struggle in this matchup, especially since the Giants have been very good against the lefty pitchers this season, as the Giants are tied for fourth in the league in OPS against lefties. So the Giants have done well against lefties all season long. We saw them get to Corbin early on Monday. I see a pretty similar story here on Tuesday. But simply put, you're going to give me a team that's in much better form, winning 8 of 10. The Nationals have not been good. They have lost 6 of 8. You have the Giants, who've been pretty good on the road this season offensively, while the Nationals have been bottom eight offensively at home. And you're looking at Birdsong being in much better form than Gore and the Giants being very good against lefties. I see a good spot for the Giants to win another game here on the road. We saw them win the opener. I think you'll see them win the second game as well. But until Gore turns it around, I'm not going to back him. He's been that bad recently. And I do think the Giants might be able to get on the scoreboard early and often. Maybe, uh, maybe they can end up winning a close game against the Nationals' bullpen as well. A couple ways to get there, but minus 120 based on the current form does feel very cheap with the way these two teams are trending. So I am going to go with the road team in the spot. Well, then once again, here for Tuesday, August 6th, is going to be on the Giants' money line at minus 120 on Caesars. Bye, everyone.